it all started when I was eight years old. My mother booted me on stage playing King Herod in a biblical play for children at Christmas time at the Greenwich Settlement House in New York City. And I've had the long crepe hair beard and the flowing robes and all that. And I uh, stamped and stomped and ran and raved around the stage there, but I knew my words and I hit my marks. Then I was signed by Universal to a seven-year contract. And I had no idea what I was going to do there. And after about a month, they started testing me for the Virginian. Doug McClure and I were finally informed that we had the roles of Trampas and the Virginian on the Friday night before the Monday morning that we started to shoot. You wake up in the morning and you have, you're going to go in and work with George C. Scott or Betty Davis or Joan Crawford. And the adrenaline just drives, brings you out of bed like the house is on fire. You, you know, you jump in the shower and you can't wait to get, get dressed and get down there and, and get the makeup on and, and get with it. Somewhere in the first year, I had heard that they had um, come down to a pattern budget of $330,000. And the fourth year, they were going to go to 300000 And I went home. You know, my standard issue with the studio or any time I wanted to get something done was to go home, get in the limousine, go to the front of the lot, get in my car, and go home. The producer would call and say, what are you doing home? You were shooting down here. So I'll come back when you put the budget back, or I'll come back when I get a Chapman Crane. My cameraman wants a Chapman Crane. The, the script calls for a Chapman Crane, and you have canceled the Chapman Crane, put it back, I'll come back. They put it back, I came back. 